Hello, it is Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Hold on. I need a crispy boy. You know when it's like a 90 and you just want a nice cold beer? Anyway. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a cumulative Ulta haul. I have just filmed a large haul video. I'm calling it a corn ton of makeup because <laughs> over the last four months I've purchased some things and the video was very long so I decided to put all the Ulta things in one video so I'm not sure which video is going up first might be this one might be that one I don't know but this is stuff that I purchased from Ulta over the last several months it's cumulative it's not not all at once but let's get to some Ulta purchases. Don't judge me. The first thing is what I used my $10 off Ulta coupon, and this is the Sugar Pill Capsule Collection C2. I've heard nothing but amazing things about Sugar Pill, and I've never tried the brand. They were on my, I think they were on my list of brands to try in 2020. I'll have to, I have to reference that video because I can't remember it. If I remember, I'll leave the video linked up here. I most likely won't remember though because crazy person over here. I don't typically love weird shaped palettes, but something about this is just so cute. I love that it's clear. I don't know, that doesn't matter, but I love that it's clear. This blue is of course speaking to me. I don't know, it just looks like molecules and it's just, it's just like really cute to me. I don't love the different pan sizes, but let's swatch this blue. Holy. Okay. And then this other, oh my gosh, that feels like butter. This moonshine shade is this guy, and then this is Sky Rise. This feels like butter. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. I'm ashamed to admit how long this has been sitting in this bucket waiting for me to freaking use it and I haven't yet. Let's watch this green which is called Insomniac. Oh, oh my gosh. Why didn't anyone tell me how amazing the sugar pill was? I'm just kidding. Literally everyone has told me. I'm just the, the worst ever. Okay. All right, I'm ready. But it's just so cute. Come on. And why is it clear? It's just so cute. That's just fascinating. Some of this stuff is from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. That's how long this has been here. This, I know, was a 21 Days of Beauty thing, and I haven't used it yet. It's the Cover Effects Monochromatic Blush Duo in Matte Shimmer in Sweet Mulberry. And the reason I haven't used it yet is waiting for Ulta stores to reopen so I could exchange it for a more me color because I don't typically wear blush this color but uh, as of you know I'm filming this on July 19th I have no idea when you're going to see this video but Ulta stores still aren't open so I don't I think the ship has sailed for me to exchange this so let's just swatch it oh my gosh it's beautiful okay all right it's not as you know like Ooh, that's really pretty. I feel like this is definitely a more fall blush. Um, okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Ooh. That is nice. And these would be really pretty eyeshadows, but that looks, it doesn't look glittery, but it's very shimmery, but it also blends. Okay. Again shaped at how long that's been sitting there. When was the 21 Days of Beauty? Was it in April? It was so long ago. What day is it? What month are we in? I don't know. I think this was a 21 Days of Beauty thing. It's the one of the IT brushes for Ulta. This is the Velvet Lux line. Every time I go to Ulta, I run my hand on that IT brushes thing that's on the it's on the end shelf of the IT Cosmetics brushes. And then I also run my hand over all the testers of the Velvet Lux brushes because they are 
so soft. And this was, I don't remember if this was a 21 Days of Beauty thing or a special promo. It's very soft. This is the Velvet Luxe Effortless Crease 320. I don't think I've used it yet. There's a siren a coming, but however, it's okay. It's wicked soft, and I haven't used it yet because I suck. This was half off, and I really enjoyed the Times bubble bath. I purchased the gold leaf gardenia I think last year as like my fancy birthday gift but I don't know if they are just continuing the times line or just certain scents there have been several times things that were deeply discounted on the Ulta website and this was one of them it was half off so it was twelve dollars which is still a lot for bubble bath <laughs> but this is the neroli soul bubble bath and it's just like a fancy bubble bath experience the bubbles are fine. I, I don't know about this one. I haven't used this one yet, but... Ooh. Oh, that smells good. Um, it's just... It's just pretty. It's just a pretty fancy bubble thing. Sometimes I want fancy bubbles. Okay. Okay. Another thing that I purchased that I might return if Ulta ever opens is this from BH Cosmetics. This is the Romantic Nomad palette and I thought this was going to be the like the travel series size. I love that formula and I love those palettes. I like the size of it. Here's the thing. This is a ridiculous thing but this is how my mind works. These pans are so little. I feel like I won't use them. I love this color palette though. I love that the color palette matches the packaging, I think that is very, that's just appealing to me. But I feel like I can return this. I haven't used it yet, so I kind of don't want to swatch it. So I'm going to set this one aside. I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to return this if Ulta ever reopens. But it's really cute. This I have used and I'm going to keep. It's the Chocolate Cherry Truffle 4 Color Blush Palette. It's so cute. Do these smell like candy? Infused with a, the scrumptious scent of sweet treats. Oh. Yeah. I don't love the scent, but uh, it's not overwhelming, so I don't think that you will... I mean, I have worn this and I don't smell it on my face, so... I just thought this was a pretty color palette. They have a bunch of these. I think there are 16 of them. So there are a ton of color options. And they are very nice. And I said in my last video, I don't think I've ever used BH Cosmetics blush products, and I lied. Cause I Again, I can't remember if this is from the 21 Days of Beauty or if this is a special problem day thing they were doing. This is the Smith & Colt Black Drop Mattifying Face Primer. I've been wanting to try this for quite a while. I don't know why, because I am the worst at wearing primers. Oh my gosh, it is black. I, did, I don't know why I thought it was not going to be. Black to clear bamboo charcoal primer. Apply to clean skin, wear alone or under makeup to prep. Yeah, my hands are so covered in makeup that that's skewing things. Let me use this hand and this finger. Then it's clean. It feels cooling almost. Is that supposed to be a thing that it does? This hand is clean. That was just eyeshadow that I was moving around on my other hand. I was like, I can see color. No, it's just the green that's on my eyeshadow. Okay, so it does smooth out to clear. There's no scent. Pretty sure I've never heard anyone talk about this. I wish Ulta would start carrying Smith & Colt nail polish during some platinum day. I don't know. These were all free things. I can't remember what I purchased to get them. But this was free. The Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Cleansing Oil. This is full size. Purify, soften, and balance skin's natural moisture levels with this deep cleansing oil formulated with grapeseed, mei chang, and ho wood oils. I have never heard of those. Helps dissolve impurities. Okay. I typically don't use cleansing bombs or cleansing oils, but. I like that as a pump. 
Well, that's convenient. That means I must have purchased a Juice Beauty thing. Where did that go? Who freaking knows? This was free. The Exuviance Age Reverse Eye Contour. Restore definition, contour, and brighter, more youthful looking eyes with this multitasking formula designed to firm skin, target droopiness, sagging, and provide a more contoured look. Ophthalmologist tested. Who doesn't want any of that? And they must have been worried about everyone's eyes this month because the other freebie was this Rock Retinol Correction Eye Cream. It visibly reduces wrinkles around the eyes, crow's feet, dark circles, and puffiness. I mean, I feel like both of these are very expensive things. How much are these? Let me look. This retails for $24.99. And this, let's see. Oh, this, the full size of this retails for $80, which is half an ounce. This is 0.35 ounces so still a good size if i felt like doing the math like i would but i don't so i'm not going to anyway those are good values and then the other freebie is this from butter london the glaze and lip glaze in the color magic dust and i've never tried one of these oh i like that it has a clear lid i like watching it come out of little holes satisfying Ooh. Oh my. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm wearing a pink lip gloss. Oh my gosh. I mean... Um... Yeah, this isn't something that... I mean, it's not terrible. Another thing that I purchased from Ulta was the Urban Decay Wired Eye Pencil in the color Shock. I love the Urban Decay Eye Pencils. They're my favorite. They were out of the blue one that I wanted. These were half off. I believe they were $11. Beautiful purple. Sort of like a bleached neon purple. And I, like I said, I love the Urban Decay eyeliners. They're, they're expensive, but they last forever on your eyes. And then the last thing is all stuff that came recently. I found some secret sales on Ulta. These things were not marked as clearance, but then when you clicked on the item, the price was, they were discounted. Okay. So they were discounted without being marked on sale. And then they were half off the discounted price once you clicked on the item. So this was marked, I think $4, four something on the website. And then when I clicked on it to look at the item it was 250. I love the tree hut sugar scrubs. This is marshmallow lodge so it's kind of a to me this is like a wintry fallish scent. Yeah I mean it's only marshmallow but it's only marshmallow but I love their scrubs so if I can get any flavor for two dollars I'm all about that life. Speaking of times these were a dollar seventy five the kimono rose body wash and the gold leaf gardenia perfumed body wash. Delicious scents mm -hmm. and I like their body washes. There are some ColourPop things that were on secret sale. This is one of the Lux lipsticks in the color All Tea, the Velvet Blur. I have to be honest, I'm not super familiar with the Lux lipsticks formula and the different finishes. I'm not really sure what Velvet Blur means. It's a bright freaking pink. I think this was like two dollars. A lot of lip product on right now. Need blue glitter on my face. Yeah, it's alright. And you probably shouldn't use a tear cloth towel to take off your lipstick. But I like the uh, little imprint on these. There's little stars. You can't see them. Okay, I get it. They do feel velvety. But they do feel velvety. That's pretty. I think I will like this more than the other. I have one other ColourPop lipstick and it's fine, but it feels like lipstick. This feels. It feels like nothing. To be honest, I just bought that to get to the free shipping minimum, but I'm glad that I did. That's pretty. And it's not as pink as it 
looks in the tube. The other thing is the Super Shack Cheek in the color Tasty. Oh my gosh, I started playing Candy Crush again and I hate my life. I played it years ago and I literally said every time I played the game, I hate my life. I hate myself when I play this game. I had to stop. It was ruining my life. And I was bored and I downloaded it again and I hate it. Also, when you play games, do you turn the sound up? I just turn all the sound down. I only play two games, Candy Crush Saga and Manchester Mansion. And they're only on my iPad, so they're not on my phone. I don't play them all the time. Well, and I play HQ Trivia, but that's only once a day. Really annoying to me when people play games with like all the sound on, especially games like Candy Crush Saga or Matchington Mansion or Homescapes where you don't need the sound. It doesn't do anything. It makes me insane. Anyway, this is tasty. <laughs> and it's a pearlized peachy. I am like in a peachy blush mood. Oh man, I haven't touched a a fresh super shock in a while and they feel delicious. Oh, that's really pretty. I just sheared it all out, but... I gotta get this green off my hand. That's really pretty. The pearlized, but it looks... I'll be curious to see how that looks on my face because it definitely looks like there's a sheen. We show we shall see. The next thing is something that I never thought I would purchase and that is something from Kylie Cosmetics. You know, I whatever. I just I don't really like or dislike I've talked about this before. I don't really like or dislike Kardashian Jenner people. You know, like whatever. But this was five dollars and it's orange. And I'll have to try. Oh, it's called tangerine. I'm sorry, it's not orange. How dare I? Ooh. Oh, it smells like cake. I mean, I gotta try this one, right? Oh. Yeah, that ColourPop lipstick is really comfortable. The Velvet Blur, I'm into it. Again, don't use a rough cloth to do this. Oh. It's straight up orange, okay. I mean, I thought this was gonna be a little more red orange. I have such wrinkly old lips. I thought this was gonna be a little more red orange. So, I don't know how I feel about this. This might be going back. <laughs> Just to see what my husband says. Oh no, that's orange. So that that's a maybe. We're not sure about that. And then the last thing that was on secret sale is from Tarte. It is the Chrome Paint Shadow Pot in Unleashed. And I've been wanting this one since this shade came out. I think this came out in the I'm not sure what the collection was called because I feel like the palette said something, but then the collection wasn't like the palette wasn't even called. I want to say it was like the young, wild, and free, but then maybe it was unleashed. I'm not really sure. I love the Tarte Chrome paints so much. I was so excited when they released a purple, and this one was $7, which is such a great price for these because they're 22 regular. I love them, but I never want to spend full price on anything as I Ugh. It's like a cool toned, icy purple. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for that. The very last thing that I purchased uh, was just because it wasn't on sale. And it's another item from ColourPop. It's the uh, Lux Gloss in Staying Up. I have two of these glosses and they're really nice. I really like them and this is a, a more colorful <laughs> color. The other colors I have are very neutral, almost almost clear <laughs> so not clear but very sheer so i thought this would be a nice color and it's a oh man yeah i'm gonna freaking love that that is my lip gloss color okay so we're done with zalta okay yeah i know 
does a lot. What have you guys purchased from Ulta lately? Or in the last four months? Or from 21 Days of Beauty? Or whenever, because that's an appropriate time length to wait to haul things, I guess. Do you have any questions, thoughts, opinions on any of this? How do we think this lipstick looks? Let me know. I think my teeth look really white. I'm into that. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to see any more about any of this like video, get ready with me. At some point, I will make time to film get ready with me again just let me know i'll talk to you guys in my next video